Welcome back everybody, episode three of our weekly. Um, so today, oh, let's throw it back to last week. Last week was a great week. Um, wrapping up Black Friday, um, lots of construction. So we, two of our constructing or contractors have left this week, so that's the partitioners. Um, but yeah, firstly, I want to shout out to our team, obviously picking up the weekly Thursday, Friday. So Mario and Zach, we're trying to feature the guys a bit more. Obviously they need a bit more camera time, get used to things. Um, but yeah, let's kind of walk through what's happening this week. This week, we're gonna put a lot of effort in. We've got a new, we've got a gimbal coming today for the camera, which will help obviously with sturdiness. Uh, what else we got? Yeah, that's what I felt like watching. I was drunk after the, the first 15 minutes. Um, what else we got going on? So yeah, we'll run through this week. This week's full of orders, a little bit of fitting, development, Christmas prep, marketing prep, and all of that. But you can see it's cold in here. So yeah, let's um, walk through. So showroom, obviously I came in this morning, first saw was the showroom it's done of such well the partition walls are done now it's time to do the interiors it's going to be the interiors are a big thing i'm not rushing this i want this to be a place for you guys to come in and enjoy so when we have car meets when we have customers down you guys enjoy relax um, in the showroom so that's a big area we're putting so that's going to go on the back burner now the main thing was getting the structure up so we can start designing things because without the structure it's quite hard to see things so obviously Work, uh, workshop is happening. So this week is a big push for this area. I want this done. I do not want boxes in there anymore. So these are G8 exhausts. We'll go through and get some nice B-roll of those in a minute. Uh, well, today. But yeah, got the lights arrived for this uh, last week. So we had a bit of delay on the lights. So those come this week. We're going to put them up in a minute, kind of figure out how we feel about them. So it's those. What else we got? We got the GAE. So the GAE is getting an armor speed intake today. So we're going to show you some really cool content on that. Uh, what else we got going on? We've got some deliveries, but we won't show you those. Not much fun there. Um, yeah, so big push this week. I want to finish this off. I'm trying to find some good flooring solutions for the floor. I was going to do the paint, but obviously you've got lots of transitions between materials. So, we, you know, we're going from an old floor to where an MOT bay was before. So it's not very nice. Um, Jasper, so Jasper, our packer, had a big accident. We're going to put the photos on the screen. Wallop, mate. Honestly, I don't know what he did, but he did it and he span it a few times. So he's off, he's not. He's feeling a bit rough today. So we've got Mario on the packing. Um, it's gonna be a hard day today. We've got a lot of orders. Monday's are always hard. A lot of orders packed, a lot of stuff to do, a lot of new stock to do. We've got G8 exhaust, 20 of them to be quality controlled, prepped to be shipped. We've got SP1s, SK1s. We're gonna put some B-roll of all that fun stuff today. Um, carpet tiles, so shout out to Starnagloss. If you wanna do some detailing, these are the boys. Come on. Um, so you've got their stuff. I guess the boys were doing some photography over here. Um, so some Starnagloss stuff. Got some carpet tiles in here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they're really nice. Yeah, wasn't too sure. When you buy things online, you don't really know what you're buying. So um, yeah, so they're really, they're really nice. So I don't know. Yeah, we'll put them in. So yeah, packing bay. So let's uh, have a little look. So a man like painter, I don't know, he's washing his hands in black. Um, stuff, not sure what's happening there. Uh, so yeah, the prep, this is the packing room. It's come together really well while I was away. Um, lights are in, walls are painted. Last couple hits on the walls. Um, what else? Yeah, got the, yeah, everything's pretty much here. Just got to put some cameras up. We've got to put, oh, they've already put the sensor for the lights up. Yeah, a lot's happening. We'll get the bays in. We're gonna plumb out the floor a little bit just to square that up so there's not a dip. And then I think I'm gonna paint the floor in here for now and then look at some flooring solutions. So yeah, let's go have a look. Guys, we won't keep you too long in the construction, um, but kind of walk through just to see. I like to make myself accountable and the team accountable for what we're doing. Photography room, really hoping to get this done this week. Uh, plastering's been done this morning, so that's just been done now sand it down, polish it, uh, prep it, and then paint it so we can start taking some new photos of products. Canteen's the same. Always the music playing around here. Um, QC room is coming along. Uh, yeah, really well. We had some conversation about some lighting, so we're gonna rearrange our lighting now. But yeah, this is good. I think, the, yeah, he's pretty much just doing everything. I think we've got the sensors up there. We've got to just sand it down and paint it. Um, but yeah, this will be a good room for quality check. This, I'm gonna show you what it looks like now, and then we're gonna drop a photo later and see what it looks like in a bit when we clean it all up, which would be nice. This will, this is our goods in. Um, 
What else we got going on? So Mario just making boxes. This is how all our cardboard comes in sheets, all cut to size. We've got loads of different sizes. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. It's just having everything to size. So we just fold them, staple them, put the parcels in. And yeah, let's cut. What's happening everybody? Episode three, Tuesday morning. Dylan's just arrived, obviously, very late man. Uh, no, he's good. So we've been here killing it this morning. We've just got the lights on the detailing base, so a proud moment. We've had a good clean up of the whole place. So we're now getting into the kind of run of just cleaning up, keeping it clean, just finishing off the last little touches. So the detailing bay is priority one this week to get done. So look at it. I'm pretty proud. We were on the fence. Uh, look, I've got shit all over my jumper. But um, we were on the fence with the lights. They're, obviously, they don't look great at the moment, but they still need to be painted. Of course, the light company sent the trim, the, uh, the, like the architrave in silver rather than white. So yeah, we painted them. We've thrown them up on the ceiling. Four of them were damaged, so there's two more to go at the either side of the end. But they look, so far they're looking good. The guy, uh, the plaster will get up there, plaster them, start painting them. Hopefully by end of tomorrow we'll have a white ceiling, white corners, and hopefully by Friday four more lights. And yeah, so far, so good. Yeah, look at the GAE, looking clean. So we've got loads going on. We've got Richard driving his little motor around. He can't give us a wave, otherwise he'll crash it. Um, what else we got going on? Dylan's running away. But yeah, we'll throw some cinematics now. Um, the super on the ramp for a new carbon kit. Keep the eyes peeled. So we'll see if we can get onto it. We've got a lot going on. We've got whatever. We'll get some, show you later, but loads of SP1s, SK1s going out, exhaust going out, finally the armor speed. So we're gonna show you the full build kind of in a short, in the weekly of the armor speed. We'll then take the GAE out this afternoon to go get a Christmas tree. I think we need a Christmas tree. We need to get our vibes up. So we're gonna go take the GAE to grab a Christmas tree, um, see how that comes out. And yeah, we'll go from there. So we'll see you in a sec. Guys, welcome back. We are now in North London somewhere at Tree Amigos, getting the R44 Christmas tree, so come. We thought we'd bring the only car for the job. So let's have a little look. We brought the Corsa. So Jade kindly let us drive her Corsa down to get the Christmas tree. Get the Christmas tree. So we're obviously gonna get it. It's about, it's about, let's see, let, well, let's go buy one. Let's go buy one. So yeah, let's head in. Jade, a legend. Get out, need, need new Instagram stickers anyways. Anyway, so that's the R44 Beast. Obviously we've got the M3. This is just a camera car. So we thought we'd bring it. Come, let's go Dylan. Tree Amigos, M3 is looking good, it's very rainy. All right, we're causing some havoc um, in here. What are they? This is Christmas heaven. Look at it, there's just Christmas trees everywhere. So yeah, we're gonna look at a Christmas tree. Which one should we go for? Six, seven. Six, six, nah. I think we've got eight foot. It's a big unit, you know what I mean? So yeah, what do you think, eight foot? What do you think, yeah, Dylan? Which one do you think? I th that's fat. That. That's big. What do you think? <laughs> you got it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. You can come look in a bit, but we'll be strapping it up. <laughs> this is havoc. Bro. <laughs> Cool, good morning guys and girls. Was it Thursday morning today? Uh, yesterday me and Dylan were working from home, so no content there, we were chilling working at home, recovering from busy work, life. Um, so yeah, we were working from home, we were both feeling a bit rough. It was a long week, 
um, going away, coming back. But yeah, we're here. The guys obviously were working flat out yesterday. Um, but yeah, let's have a look what we've got on today. See, the painter has been flat out. Once we got our lights up last, early start of this week, painter has now plastered it all. He's now painting. So by the end of today, we should see a nice white ceiling and the last finishing touches of the wrapping bay, which is amazing. Supra, so we've been sleeping a bit with the Supra. Obviously we did a clean build to start off with. Um, it then went away. We put on a kit that we've had for a while. Um, we then went away and been working on a kit that kind of takes our comments from what we did initially. So first thing is obviously ride height. Of course, gotta appreciate that. Can't even get it in, boy. It's a bit dusty because obviously man, man, painter getting everything dusty up in here. Um, but yeah, fitment, so good. I love the stock wheels, but yeah. So what we've done, we've got a new splitter. Again, we're trying different things. So the splitter is actually pre-preg carbon. Uh, the diffuser is wet laid, trying to just work on pricing, getting the prices right because there's not a lot of supers on the road. So whereas normally we can try and reduce the price a little bit, sell more quantity, um, whereas the Supra, we're not going to sell as many, so we need to try and make sure that we can get our mold costing back. So we've had our factory make a new splitter and a new diffuser. So the same factory that makes the current kit. We found that when we're running the HRs, they're just way too low um, to run every day as a daily car. Obviously, a lot of people use these cars as daily. So we made a splitter that's slightly more aggressive that goes over the, the matte black stuff, um, but not as low as the splitter there. So let's have a little look. Ooh, it's obviously not gonna work, but you can get the gist. This goes over there, comes out about that much from this point, and then it's pretty much returns under and then it goes a bit wider on the side. So that way the car looks fat, um, but still being able to drive over bumps and stuff. It's so going on to the diffuser. This, currently we haven't got a diffuser. We were looking at doing just the center, but we thought we'd just do a full replacement for the gloss, the, the matte black, keeping it really aggressive. Um, so yeah. We'll throw those on, maybe throw some ASX ons in there. We'll see how we get on. Um, but that'll go go on next. Um, we've just got an M, uh, F, what's this, M140i or maybe a 35i? I think it's a 40i. But yeah, one series in for a performance style spoiler, LED diffuser. We'll throw some nice cinematics in once this is complete. I think the wiring looks like it's been done everything's been done on that so we can strap that down and take it out so yeah that's happening what we got this we've got two of these in today we've got another one due any minute for spring spacers full maxton kit got our supra and then we're going to go look at a new car this afternoon have a look construction wise it's quite busy in here obviously look been busy so yeah prep pack room's been done which is nice looking fresh in here Looks good, looks good. We're gonna start putting the benches up, start getting things. So next week, hopefully we can get the packing team in here, some doors on it, get the heating up. So it's nice and warm um, is the plan. So that's good. What else is happening? The exhaust, someone's put the exhaust. Look how neat that is. Look at that. That's a week's work full of G80s. Uh, what's happening? Photography room, big push on the painters. So we're just, a bit boring walking through everything. But yeah, looking good, the photography room. Kitchen, hopefully get a plumber here to sort that out. Oh, we've got the light in there now, nice. Nice, so yeah, this is the canteen. This will be having lunch. Kitchen will be across there. A big kind of team table. Um, and then, yeah, some lockers and stuff like that. Charge your phones across the back. So yeah, pretty cool in there. Quality control room coming together, lights are in. Just need to start painting it really. So hopefully once the painter is on, finished up in the wrap bay, he can crack on with this. And then um, we've got to change this light, throw that on there. And we're gonna drop some two, um, two of the same detailing, same lights that we have in the detailing room in here for quality checking. And then, yeah, into the dungeon. Right. So yeah, nothing to see here lads and girls, but we are working on the design for the inside of here. So that's why we're just sleeping a little bit. But yeah, let's jump back in. Let's get Dylan onto the um, cinematics on the, the one series, and then we'll crack on with the Supra until the next one series arrives. Um, yeah, that's about it. We've got loads of stuff coming out. Goods in. We've got our Christmas tree. We'll throw some content. Obviously, last time you saw us, you would have seen that we threw this on the M3. Poor car. Uh, looking a bit worse for wear at the moment, the M3 now. So yeah, do that. 
time to get some Christmas stuff on the Supra maybe after the new kit. Um, yeah, that's it. Maxton, got a few boxes from Maxton today, so shout out to them. Armour Speed, <coughs> big install this uh, Friday. Friday we've got a big install, so shout out to Armour Speed. We're getting a lot of kits. We've got probably like 20 kits on the way from Armour Speed for the F80 and G80s and 82s and G82s. So yeah, that's it. But yeah, standard stuff, just cracking on today. Um, yeah, let's catch up in a bit. Happening, everybody. So Friday morning, big week, uh, wrapping it up. So the wrapping bay is now done. Of such, we've got four lights missing and a logo left to do. Actually, a bit of um, plastering in the corner there. I've just seen that. So yeah, we'll get that done. Uh, M3 is in here. M3 needs a good wash after some antics earlier this week. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. Loads of space, which is really nice. We've got enough space to work on either side. Obviously, Friday. We like to hurt ourselves as much as possible, so we book as many cars in as we can. So we've got a 135i in for a load of stuff. So it's a front max and splitter, side skirts, gloss black front grille, gloss black little canard, like canard bits here, because they're silver on the original. Um, we've got a max and diffuser going on that we've modified to make it uh, an LED diffuser, so like a rain light, which will be pretty cool. So it's one of the first I've seen on one of these. Really nice cars but a nightmare to get the grills off. We've obviously had to take the whole bumper off just to get the grill off and the little canard things, which is a nightmare. So we'll show you that, you know, Maz has been on it. So these are the little canards, which obviously come in like a, the horrible gray that BMW likes to use, um, but changed up to a nice gloss black, which would be cool. Um, but um, yeah, what a color to inspect this car is. Beautiful. So shout out to the customer. He mentioned this morning that he's a, he's a watcher of our YouTube. So yeah, shout out to him. Really nice build going down. Obviously it's got the M Performance wing on it as well, uh, which is really cool. So OE, he's picked up a lot, of, a few OE bits. So those little canards are original BMW, which are pretty cool. Uh, we've got the gloss black grill which is going in now. So yeah, 135i, first job of the day, full maxing kit, here's a splitter, skirts. So this, yeah, next up is, so this is like this lunchtime's job of such, this beautiful M4. So this is a customer that is an absolute legend, real legend. Uh, he comes probably every two months for a bit of work. So obviously let's run through what he's got today. Um, so he's got these M Performance original BMW, in um, side kind of seals, steps. Um, these illum illuminate as well, which are pretty cool. I think they do, pretty sure they do. But yeah, maybe they don't, no, they don't illuminate. But yeah, they look clean uh, with a carbon and performance. Um, what else is happening? So that's just on the interior. On the exterior, the front end, he's going for some pre-preg front bumper canards. So I'll show you these ones. These are really nice. Quality on them is obviously Perfect. So they go up there, so that'll match. These are ours as well. So we've got the front ducts on there. We've got a CS front splitter. Every two months he likes to change his splitter because he keeps damaging them. So another CS front splitter there. These will go on there as well, just to finish off that front end. Um, then we go in a lot of stuff. This is stage two, I think it's a Volve tuned um, car, which is really cool. It sounds crazy because we'll show you what's got on it. Um, so we're gonna just kind of put some more kind of safety mods in for the power. So this is the turbo elbow from VRSF. Quite a nice little mod. Let's just send that down there. So yeah, turbo elbow, just to um, get rid of all the plastic in case of any um, breakages and stuff like that. And so yeah, there were all the ports in there. So those are going on. We've got the, char the hot side, I think, charge pipe or cool side charge pipe going in there. So that's for the charge cooler on the top. And we've got an engine um, cover and carbon and a full armor speed intake. So yeah, we'll get some really nice cinematics of that going down. It's the new product just finished. So this should be a nice little touch with the armor speed. Um, Done again, all pre pre carbon, really nice finish. Um, but let's go down the, kind of go through some of the mods he's got. So obviously got carbon mirrors, um, already fitted. It's dropped on MSS suspension. It's got uh, some spaces front and rear. 
Interior wise, he's got a full LED original M performance steering wheel, got loads of our carbon parts everywhere. He's got extended paddles, he's got start stop buttons. He's got carbon handles. That's what we did last time. So these little handles in here, all carbon, which are a nice little touch as well. Um, so he's done, you know, he's mixed a little bit of OEM with a bit of R44. He's got an original OEM CS spoiler, which looks really clean. Um, he's got an R44 CS, uh, no, three-piece diffuser. He's got a Sexons, and he's got the one-off R44 catback system. Obviously, it sounds crazy. Um, so that's a full, that's got evolved downpipes, our catback system, which is valve. So when the valve's closed, it's actually really silent. Second those valve's open, it's just pure straight through, sounds like a machine. So yeah, he's got that, obviously he's got OLED lights as well in full smoked. So it's a nice looking car, really nice. What a color as well. Um, I believe it's a Lamborghini color, I'm not too sure. But yeah, the only thing he needs is some side seals. He's got the original M Performance on there, which could go. Hi guys. Really? Hi guys, loving it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna throw this bumper on, we'll get some cinematics now of that. And then, uh, yeah, we've got loads going on. We've got the SP1 delivery from the factory in Silverstone this morning. Uh, what else we got? Just a load of orders. We'll sh yeah, so shout out to everybody this week. Loads of orders going out, loads of orders arriving. Lots happening. Great week. Speak to you in a sec. Yeah? Oi, what's happening? Friday vibes. We just had a pizza. Um, it got annihilated by all of us. Uh, we're all dying. Three o'clock, is it four o'clock, five o'clock now? Um, we're just smashing through the M4. Oh no. Um, I'm just doing these. These are really nice. Look at them. Really nice bit of kit. Simple to do, just change over the little fixings, these little yellow things, and they just clip back in. But yeah, me and Maz are just gonna quickly smash out this M4, get it done, and then, of course, Nothing like a Friday, another car in. This car is in, I think, for springs and spacers. Um, maybe a new splitter. Don't know, looks like it's We're just gonna crack on with this. Um, the warehouse is busy. Should we have a little look what the warehouse has been up to? So yeah, warehouse has been, look at, what is that? That is a lot, obviously, with the hidden, the small stuff now, so. That's a morning of the, uh, the big orders. Obviously it goes quite deep. So shout out to everybody for being a customer. It's, it's a bloody amazing. Um, so yeah, loads of orders with a load more going out. We've got what's on the bench at the moment. We've got some, some MSS. These are for a G80, G80 saloon. That's cool. I think we've got some F81s coming out, already been going out as well. So shout out to MSS. We've got loads of cool stuff happening. Monday, keeping on socials, we've got some cool stuff happening um, with the um, boxes everywhere. Uh, so 12 days of Christmas, which will be quite cool. So every day from Tuesday or Monday. I saw on your calendar, it said Tuesday. Um, but yeah, we're just going to smash through the M4 and then um, Get some more orders out. I think there's about 30 or 40 more orders this afternoon. Get them done. And then it's the weekend, time to relax. We'll come in next week. Main objectives next week is this room, quality control room and photography room done. And then look at the floor solutions for in here. You might look at a short term solution, just paint it with a quick and easy paint. Just give the painter a day just to paint all the floors or next Friday or something, just to get rid of the bloody different transitions between the flooring before we um, invest in a nice flooring solution, but I'm not too sure what we want to do. But yeah, that's what we'll do. So again, thanks again for watching. This week's been a crazy one. Leading up to Christmas as always, it's gonna be good. Um, yeah, let's go crack on and make sure you hit that bell somewhere around there and check out the latest videos. Tonight we've got a G80 tuning video. We've got super videos. What else have we got, Dylan? MST, arm speed. MST install for GAE, arm speed install for a GAE. We're trying to do it, we're obviously doing a lot of GAE stuff because that's kind of our little niche there, but let us know if you want to see something else, 140 builds, 240 builds, normal M4, F82s, anything you want to see, pop it down below and we'll get on it. Maybe some Lamborghinis, some GTRs. Let us know. Anyways, like and subscribe.